Shalom. This is your brother Tazoya Omar of GMS Valdos, to Georgia, coming out again with another weekly lesson, and I pray that it be edifying. But first of all, I want to give all the praises and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rikakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS for teaching us the true knowledge of this scripture. I want to say Shalom and a heart to all the sisters and brothers that are striving in the same true doctrine. Shalom. Today's lesson is pretty much um, in reference to the word woe. You know, as I was doing a little research, and um, the word woe is mentioned in the King James Bible. A total of 98 times, I believe. And the word woe itself is, is defined as grief, anguish, affliction, wretchedness, calamity, and trouble. And all of these of, um, <laughs> you know, is what? What you would call, hey, bad situations, you know. But the really downside of these woes are, hey, it's going to be righteous anger. When, you, when your Howard Shire returns, hey, everything going to be righteous. Whatever the uh, judgment is brought forth, going to be righteous. And with that being said, these are four wo woes that, um, you know, I just randomly decided to bring out, you know. Um, as I said earlier, it's a total of 98, 98 woes that's been, you know, brought forth out in the King James Version. But these are the four that I just picked out. And the first one is, woe to you that are rich, for you have received it, your consolation. You know, that's pretty much going into the fact that if you have prosper in this wicked society and your, your wealth has come by ill gotten gain, you know, to, to maintain their status, of uh, uh, being in that, you know, uh, high class uh, situation, or uh, being on, on a financial pedal, pedestal, you will continue to do whatever wickedness, hey, that got you there. You know, and and that pretty much will be your downfall. And the next one is, woe to you that are full now, for you share hunger. You know, hey, there's a scripture in the verse that say that, hey, there's a scripture that say, roughly paraphrasing, that, hey, you're going to come to a no good end. You know, you, you full of not just so much as being full on food, but you full of this Babylonian wine, the Babylonian doctrine, the Babylonian philosophy. You know, you stuck in a rut. Whatever Esau say do, that's what you do. Disregard what does said the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You stuck on what Esau say do. And whatever you say, do that, you will do. You, the devil. And the next one is, woe to you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Okay, at any point in time, hey, you'll be brought down to a lower state. As, as the old folks used to say, the same thing make you laugh and make you cry. You know, you stuck on a situation where, hey, everything good, you know, so-called good, everything, hey, you lead, you just pretty much thriving, so-called thriving, 
in this wicked society, being wicked, you know, uh, selling poison to your people, you know, uh, stealing, um, just whatever manner of wickedness hey, to come by that so-called might of the dollar, which is declining in value as we speak. So, hey, all that fiat currency that you're trying to get your hands on, hey, it's going to be like water in a sieve. Hey, it's going to slip right through your hands. And with that being said, I'm going to move to the next woe. Woe Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. You know, be if everybody loves you or uh, pretend that they're your friend, you better best be aware of that. Because this 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 world is full of wicked people. And if you're a friend with these wicked ass people, that means you're indulging in wickedness too, because hey, if not, they 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 will have something bad to say about you. As they do the men of the hey of the most high, the prophets. You know, hey, this they mock, scorn us, lie on us. You know, the brothers that teaching, they, they will start out teaching in vowed also. They was accused of having a bomb at one particular time. Can you imagine that? That could have been, hey, they, those brothers could have lost their lives behind a lie. They actually accused them of having a bomb. And they would roll up, roll up on by those racist, tobacco chewing, rednecks that's down here in Georgia. All because of a lie. So hey. As we continue to bring out this word and Prophesize on the street. Let's be careful. Keep our heads on, on, you know, on a swivel, you know, because, hey, at any point in time, these, de these devils could roll up on you, all because of a lie. But basically, they're rolling up on us because we are just spreading the truth. You know, that's. That's that's uh pretty much you can say that's the world upside down, you know the truth is a lie, and a, li a lie is the truth. In this society, the truth will get you killed. A lie will set you free. And with that being said, I'm gonna close out by giving all praise and honors to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Yukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS for teaching us the true knowledge of these scriptures. I'm going to say Shalom and a harp to all the sisters and brothers that's striving in this same true doctrine. Shalom.